Hello friends, today we are going to learn about wildlife conservation. So what is wildlife conservation? Conservation of biological diversity has become a global concern. There are basically two types of conservation options that is in situ conservation and ex situ conservation. In situ conservation or on site conservation. It is a process of protecting an endangered species in its natural habitat. In in situ approach includes protection of a group of ecosystem through a network of protected areas like biosphere reserves, sanctuaries, national parks and sacred trees. The benefit of in situ conservation is that it maintains recovering population in its surroundings where they have developed their distinctive properties. Now let us understand what is a biosphere reserve. Large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife, plants and animal resources are living in the area. Each biosphere reserve is intended to fulfill three functions. First one, a conservation function that is to contribute to the conservation of landscape, ecosystem, species and genetic variation. Second one, a development function to foster economic and human development which is socio-culturally and ecologically sustainable. A logistic function to provide support for research, monitoring, education and information exchange related to local, national and global issues of conservation and development. So let us now understand what are the different zones of biosphere reserve. Core area. The core area comprises a strictly protected ecosystem that contributes to the conservation of landscapes, ecosystem, species and genetic variation. These are the legally protected area of the ecosystem. Buffer zone. The buffer zone surrounds or adjoins the core areas. It is used for activities compatible with sound ecological practices that can reinforce scientific research, monitoring, training and education. Transition area. The transition area is the outermost part of biosphere reserve where the greatest activity is allowed. Fostering economic and human development that is socio-culturally and ecologically sustainable. It is the area of cooperation between reserve management and local people. It is an area where sustainable resource management practices are promoted and developed. So now I am going to list various biosphere reserves and the states in which they are present. Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. Gulf of Manar Biosphere Reserve, Tamil Nadu. Sundarban Biosphere Reserve, West Bengal. Nanda Devi Biosphere Reserve, Uttarakhand. Panchamari Biosphere Reserve, Madhya Pradesh. Now let us understand what are wildlife sanctuaries. Specific endangered faunal species are well protected in the wildlife sanctuaries. Limited biotic interference is allowed. Ecotourism is permissible. Private ownership of land is allowed as long as the life of animals is not disturbed. Boundaries are not circumscribed. Wildlife sanctuaries are also called wildlife refuge. It is a naturally occurring sanctuary such as an island that provides protection for species from hunting, predation or competition or it is a protected area, a geographic territory within which wildlife is protected. Such wildlife sanctuaries are generally officially designated territories. So there are do's and don'ts when you approach or when you visit a wildlife sanctuary. So the do's are 
obtain a permit before entering the park or sanctuary be accomplished by a guide authorized by the park or the sanctuary wear inconspicuous khaki olive grey clothing bright clothes particularly white black or red are not advisable drive slowly at a prescribed maximum speed of 20 km per hour maintain silence to have a close look on wildlife so these were the do's that you have to do when you visit a wildlife sanctuary now let us discuss the don'ts which we should not do when we reach a wildlife sanctuary don't enter the park before or after specific time don't enter prohibited area of the park don't carry pets transistors tape recorder or musical instrument in the park or sanctuary do not cook anything inside the park do not feed the animals do not throw trash inside the park now let us discuss some famous wildlife sanctuaries bhagwan mahavir wildlife sanctuary goa established in 1978 dandeli wildlife sanctuary karnataka established in 2002 indira gandhi wildlife sanctuary and national park tamil nadu established in 1989 Now let us learn about national parks. Natural habitats of certain endangered species is earmarked as national parks. Here such threatened animals are protected. No biotic interference is allowed. Ecotourism is permissible. The forest area is strictly reserved for the protection of wildlife. boundaries are legally declared the earliest national parks are yellowstone national park in usa and royal national park in australia thank you